Hey Math 43, I want to walk you through submitting a homework assignment. I'm in my student account, so you can see that this assignment's available, but I haven't uploaded it. So once you've watched the lecture videos or gone through the lecture material, you can start your assignment. Here are the page numbers. Here are the problems you're responsible for. If there's ever a typo, which there is in Chapter 1, I'll write it here. When you're ready to submit your assignment, I do want you to use the Canvas portal to do that. When you submit through Canvas, um, Canvas will alphabetize it. It'll link it to the gradebook. It'll house all the files so it eats up their storage, not mine. And that's part of why I don't accept emailed homeworks. Nothing's alphabetized. Um, it's not connected to the gradebook. I have to download it. It just takes a lot longer on my end. So I do need us to use the portal. Make sure that when you submit your file, you're using that proper file type we talked about last week. So I need one PDF file. Um, I also want to make sure that you have your work shown for every problem, and that includes multiple choice questions, and you need to use techniques that are taught in this course. There's many techniques out there. I want to make sure we're using the ones that have been shown in the lecture videos. So if you turn in an assignment and there's no work shown or you're using outside techniques, you won't receive credit for that. In terms of getting help on an assignment, you have a couple of options. You can always come to office hours. I love when students come to office hours. Or um, the book has answers to odd numbered problems at the end of the chapter. So that's page 64 for chapter one. And then on Saturday, I'll release the chapter one homework solutions. And this file here is my typed out answers for every problem that was assigned to you. And I'll also include that file in Sunday's announcement so you can look for it there as well. If there's um, a problem for which you'd like a little bit more help, you can request a screencast or you can look so far at the list of screencasts I've already made. These are problems that previous students have requested of me. So you can watch those. That's me going through how to do the problem. And if there is a problem for which there isn't a screencast and you'd like one, you can leave me a submission comment. And I'll show you a little bit later how to leave a submission comment. So let me scroll down here till we get to the part where it talks about uploading a file. I'll get to that in a moment. I want to go over here to the rubric. Every assignment will have a rubric and it basically lays out the criteria for which you'll be graded. And I think it's important for teachers to communicate to students what they expect. And here's what I expect. And I will grade along this. And when you receive your grade from your side of things, if you go into the grades tab, you can actually find the little rubric icon. You can click on it and you'll see how you were marked along that rubric. All right, let's go ahead and try and upload a file. It's reminding you that, hey, you can only do a um, PDF file type. You could drag and drop, but I'm going to go ahead and just click on that little paper clip. And you'll see that the only file it'll really even let me get to is the one that has the PDF extension. Now, this is clearly not a homework assignment. I just am using it, for example. So when I click on that, what I want to make sure we, we hear is wait for it to upload. I can't tell you how many times students have said, like, I uploaded the file, I promise. And I'm like, yo, Canvas didn't get it. So you just want to make sure, I know we're going to spin here for a little while, but you want to make sure Canvas receives that file before you click out of this. So we're just going to wait. At this point, it's uploaded. It's not submitted. Oops, let me scroll up here. And you can see it's telling you it's uploaded. It hasn't been submitted. And before I do that, I want to mention how you can leave me a comment. So you might say something like, please make a screencast oops, for number 49. And if you send that to me, I'll get notified of it. You could also attach something or send me a video or an audio clip if you want it. But here's just a text of it. All right. And then before I get out of here, I do want to make sure I hit that blue submit button. And then you'll see the little Canvas party pop up. All right. So that's how you get uh, your, your Canvas assignment sent to me. Um, and again, I always recommend make sure you're using the web version of Canvas and not the app. The, the web browser just has so much more functionality than the app. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.